Hey, what's up, guys? Check out this new purchase. Just uh, picked this up on eBay. It was about $100. Uh, 118 ship. I uh, won the auction for about $103. And uh, the guy said this thing was actually brand new. Uh, it was from like an estate auction, so I'm assuming the guy died that actually had it. But he said this thing looked brand new. It was in the, in the box. And. Uh, Like I said, he didn't look like it was ever used. So this is probably about this was probably made about ten years ago, and it's a uh, Wittig or Wellick um, digital oscilloscope. And this one actually one has 200 mil, uh, megahertz uh, sampling or a uh, 200 megahertz bandwidth and one gigahertz sampling, so real time sampling per channel. Um, so we have to take a look at this. All right, so here it is. All right. So, that's the cables. So, yeah, I haven't actually messed with a oscilloscope for about 25 years. So when I was younger, and when I first started out in college, I uh, took a couple electronics classes, and I had messed with some, like, Tektronix analog ones, and, you know, at the same time I was, you know, studying computer science, so uh, I, I, I didn't know if I was going to go the electronics route, electrical engineering, or if I was going to do computer science, so, but I, I went the computer science route and did a lot of programming classes and then IT networking classes but but I kind of got back into electronics again you know like you know I want I felt like it like when I got back into 3D printing or got into 3D printing so yeah this thing looks like it's brand new yeah 100 bucks um there was some mixed reviews on the on these scopes I mean these things were probably about seven to eight hundred dollars when they first came out and um I think it's all manual I think it looks brand new in the box and the, I actually did some, I mean, I looked at this thing thoroughly before I bought it. And one of the nice things was I went on their website, so I, they, this company went out of business. And supposedly this thing is made in Germany. But the, the owner of the company released the firmware uh, to the open source community. So there actually is a new firmware, that 2018 firmware for this thing, so... That's pretty cool, so I can update this thing to all up to the latest firmware. But, um, let's take a look at this thing. Oh, there you go. Okay. Yeah, I wanted something small that will fit on my desk here, too. It looks like somebody was touching the screen like they thought maybe it was a touch screen. Yeah, since I'm still starting out again, yeah, I, didn't, I wanted something kind of basic because... I mean, I didn't want to get overwhelmed with like a zillion different buttons. Probably sounds stupid, but, you know, it's like I have to learn this thing from scratch again. Because, like I said, the last one I messed with was a analog Tektronix scope 25 years ago, 20 years ago, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, I want to do some more, like, board level repairs and some of this equipment I get in. You know, I work on a lot of Cisco gear. And it, was, it sucks that sometimes I have to throw away a... Uh, a thousand dollar device just because uh, something doesn't work right. So if I could try to fix those, that'd be cool. So, let's take a run. Alright, let's see. I'm assuming this is the stand. Yeah, so I was looking at one of, your, one of those Chinese scopes for like 200 bucks. Yep, phone is ringing. Alright, let's see. Let's see. Wellick. I'm just looking at the label, see what's up with this thing. Made in the EU. Uh, Germany. Wittig, something Germany. Alright. 9 pin serial port, RS232, USB. Plastic feels alright, you know, it doesn't feel super high end. I wonder if I can get this to go further down. That's as far as it goes. Alright. Yeah, I was hoping I could maybe lean it back a little bit more. Because my test bench is kind of high, so... Alright, so yeah, it came with a... Uh, it didn't come with a... Well, at least this one didn't. probably did come with a American plug, but that's a European plug. So... Closer look at the probe. Yeah, it still has that little... Uh, I don't... This, is this even open? It still has that little oxygen pack in there. Alright, let's get my, uh, I have a, let's get a power button cable here somewhere. 
And let's fire this thing up, see what happens. No clue what's going to happen. Alright. Okay, I got some light on the uh, LCD. Okay. Oh. I guess it was already on. Like I said, I haven't really looked at the manual yet, so I don't know. From what I read online, this thing actually takes a few minutes, a few seconds to boot up. Okay, we'll let Germany and Okay, cool. Alright. At least I got some learning to do here. But yeah, the first thing I want to do is update this firmware because I heard like the early versions of this thing had a lot of issues with their uh, their firmware. There was different issues and problems, you know, and... Uh, cool, man. Cool tool. So, I mean, hopefully the, uh, this, will, this thing will be put to good use, so... Yeah, the guy that died that had this thing, hopefully you'll know that this thing was put to good use. Alright, cool, man. Awesome. Only 100 bucks. eBay.